Hi and welcome. My name is Masikana Mungura and this is I Am Masikana TV. Please take the time to like, subscribe, click on your notification buttons that whenever there is a new video, you get notified. This week, we're going to be focusing on Romans 2. Romans is a book written by a missionary named Paul. Paul started as a Christian slayer. And when he got converted, he became a missionary and then he spent the rest of his life preaching the new way. Romans was an open letter to the Romans in AD 57. Now, according to this book called Unlocking the Bible by David Pawson, it describes how Rome was. And Rome was a huge metropolis and the behavior of people in the city came through in the letter so if you remember in romans 1 paul was basically giving the romans a tongue lashing but out of the first 15 rome emperors 14 were practicing homosexuals an outbreak of antisocial behavior children being disobedience to parents people throwing away law and order uncontrollable violence and crime they had a big problem collecting taxes since moonlighting and tax invasion were rife so he is he is especially concerned that the church does not become corrupted by the society around the lifeboat functions best when it is in the sea not when the sea is in the boat literally what's happening today and i just now i am i'm in rome <laughs> and paul wrote the open letter he was trying to make sure that the church that he's trying to visit is safe picture this you're a missionary you are in another city dealing with other things you people trying to kill you for one but you want to go to a certain place because you know that they need you you can't arrive quickly so what you do is you write a letter his main aim was to make sure that the way the city is living should not corrupt the church romans chapter 2 the first line is you're not allowed to judge yes we we see that you're going through all of this we, however do not judge other people do not judge even the people that are doing this because you can't tell somebody not to do something and you don't even know what their circumstances are the only thing that you can do is offer them information the church mustn't focus on being judgmental but actually focus on the right teachings he was brutally honest with his disdain certain times where you can't sugarcoat your message it's funny because paul is the right man to talk about non-judgment because paul who is who was Saul before and i will explain his story in romans 3 what paul is saying it doesn't matter whether you're a jew or you're a gentile you are all equal before the eyes of the lord so if you do good you're gonna receive good if you do bad you're gonna receive bad you go back to genesis you read up on the covenant that god made with abraham god would reveal his self to israel as a nation so rome is like a melting pot of everything that is vile according to what paul wrote in chapter one and the jews are kind of looking at, at the gentiles on some that's are wrong for the of pulling back and being like how can we fix this together they they're separating themselves from the gentiles paul is saying is you are not better than these people god sees them they still that covenant between abraham and god because god doesn't break his promises however your your acceptance into the lord is not it's no longer just based on being circumcised and if you are randomly confused as to how circumcision got in here genesis 15 16 17 and 18 you will see how that whole covenant came about with abraham and faith and so forth however in my in my romans 4 video i go into detail as to how abraham came about and paul is basically saying that listen i know what's happening i want to make sure that the church knows what is happening if i know that means that god is well aware of what is happening however 
you Jewish people cannot be judging Gentiles. So goes on to talk about how God's name is being blasphemed amongst the Gentiles because you guys are not leading by example. You're supposed to be one that God chose. The thing I like about Paul's character is I can almost feel the passion through him. But apart from that, I just like how blunt he is. Like, whoa, he didn't have to be violent about it. He's um, He seems like a man who is committed to truth. Paul has been in this game for 20 years, you know, um, longer than most rappers. <laughs> and he's been chased. He's been bitten by snakes. But Paul is just like, listen, back then I was committed to killing all the Christians. And something came and changed my mind. And now I'm committed to passing the message on. You have to respect that that type of personality. Overall impression of Romans is it's like having a conversation with your father. That that's how Romans feels, especially Romans 2, because it's so easy for us to judge. It's so easy for us to look at circumstances and be like, yeah, but I wouldn't do that. But I appreciate just Paul as a human. I think I really appreciate his his tenacity and his persistence and his character. I like honest and straight to the point people. My name is Masekana Mongora and I was reviewing Romans 2. Quick disclaimer, I am not a pastor. I am no way, shape or form trained to um, to be a pastor. So don't be hitting me up on some please baptize me or anything like that. Um, I'm not a missionary. I didn't even go to Bible school. I'm literally just a person who is reading, who is into reading and into trying to figure out what something means. And this was a challenge of which I accepted from one of my um, subscribers. Please comment, please like, please share. You can tweet me at I am Masikana. You can Instagram me at I am Masikana. You can you can link me in. You can link to me in at Masikana Mungura. Um, and yeah, this is I am Masikana TV. Enjoy your day. This was Romans two. Peace, love, joy, and happiness.